Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, if we look at the uh, desktop icons in Windows 10, a question I get asked all the time, people like to rearrange the uh, desktop the way they want. And often they want to position the icons the way they want. But um, a lot of people don't fully understand why icons react the way they do. And that is um, not mysterious. It's just that there's a few of the options available that might actually uh, not necessarily be what you want in rearranging uh, desktop icons. So when you right click on your desktop, first of all, the first option at the top is view. And this is where you have a lot of options or most of the options where you will actually have your icons aligned the way you want. Now, first of all, you can show or hide the icons on your desktop. Um, you might have noticed on my videos, I hide all the icons. There's never icons on the desktop. It is because it is distracting in a video. So by having just a clean desktop, people focus on what I have to talk about or show. So by removing the check mark on clicking, you remove the icons, and that's the way it is. And for a lot of people, that's the way they want it. They just want a clean desktop. They don't want to have icons, don't have to deal. They want to have that nice you know, wallpaper background picture, and that's it. When you right-click on the desktop, go to the view. Of course, we can re-show the icons. But one of the first options is, of course, large, medium, or small icons. So this, depending on how big you want to have the icons in the desktop, smaller icons, more icons in the desktop, bigger icons, of course, a lot less, but easier to see and find. So depending on what you want, you can choose the different default size, small, medium, or large. The icon size also will go with some of the settings in Windows. So, for example, in Windows, if you have chosen to have in the uh, display settings a uh, percentage that is higher, so, for example, scale and layout, if you put this bigger, your icons will follow. Your icons will also be bigger. The taskbar will also be bigger. So this is something to know. Right-click once again, go to View. Auto arrange icons. What does that do? It simply arrange the icons always to the desktop on your left. So anything you do, anything you'll try to, 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 to place differently, it won't work. It will always be on the left automatically. Any new icon that shows up here will always be on the left and will always be in alphabetical order, as you see here. Now, maybe you don't want that rearrange automatically. Maybe you want to have icons scattered on your desktop in groups or, you know, you want to have your own little thing. Well, what you can do on right click in view is remove the auto arrange, which means now if I take this, move it here, here we go. Take this, move it here, here we go. But there's something that also is uh, here. And you might notice that when you place them, they are pretty much always aligned with each other. And that goes with the second option. If you go to view again, you will see that align icons to grid. What that means is that imagine that each icon on that desktop screen is inside a little square. So the screen is divided into icon sized square or a grid. And so that's why they are always perfectly aligned. Wherever you will position them, they'll align with each other in different ways. They will align on a grid vertically, horizontally. But maybe you want to have them, you know, because if when it's like this, if I move this one just slightly here, notice that it positions back itself here. Unless I'm in the next grid, well, it's going to go to the next grid. But it always follows a specific grid. But maybe you want it just like this instead. How do you do that? Well, when you right click, go to view and remove the align icons to grid. Now it's kind of, you, I, you know, you position them the way you want. Here they're overlapping, for example. There's no more rules. You just do what you want, position them how you want in groups and so on. And of course, if you want them back in a alphabetical order automatically, all you have to do is put the check marks back to arrange, uh, auto arrange icons. 
and if you want them to follow a grid when you move them, if you ever move them around, which they do automatically, I believe, in the auto range icons, you can align with grid. So these are all the options to move around your icons on the desktop. And of course, then you can uh, sort by name, by size, by item type, by date modified. So if you assign, if, if you assign them by size, they will change, the order will change. If you sort them by item type, all again, it changes. Sort them by date modified or when you put them on your desktop. And of course, you can sort by name for ab alphabetical order once again. So I hope that this little tutorial on the way that icons behave on your desktop is uh, helpful to you. One word of caution, when you auto align, and auto, uh, you know, it's it's fine. Things are always correct. But if you use a free form, like I was showing that you can position the icons wherever you want, um, one thing can happen with that. The free form has rules and it goes with the resolution of your desktop. For most people, it's not a problem. But if you use software that changes the resolution of your desktop when you're using it, and then puts the resolution back, your icons, when you use the free form, the way that you position them yourself, might not be aligned the way that they were before after the uh, resolution comes back to normal. So just be cautious about that. If, if your icons change place when you're using software, it means the software might be changing the resolution of your screen. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.